Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can fix this KB5034441. This update error recently that has been updated from Windows and it doesn't install. And I made a video about it, but some of you guys find the comments very confusing. And today I'm gonna try and show you and explain everything, every comment. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start and we're gonna type CMD and we right click on it and we click on this run as administrator make sure you run it as, as administrator because if you don't run it as administrator it will not work so here we need to type some commands so just before we begin i just suggest you to not skip anything here and follow every command here that is typed and it should be good and be careful which you will type here because this is very important what we will do here and I will show every everything, I will warn you everything before anything does. So the first command that we need to type is this one, is this reagent c forward slash info and we press on enter. And then here you will see where you have your your windows re status is enabled make sure it's enabled and here device hard disk is on zero and partition one recovery windows re so now we need to type this command to disable the windows re and here we are gonna type this regent c forward slash disable and we're gonna press on enter and we're gonna wait for it to disable Make sure, make sure it says, make sure it says it's successful. So now we can go to other command. And now we need to type in disk part, everything together. Disk part like this and press on enter. And then from here you will type in list disk. Make sure, as you can see here, the disk part is list disk here make sure that this part is here and we press on enter and now you will get your hard disk here disk zero is as you can see status is online and i have 500 gigabytes and now here we're gonna type cell disk and then the number zero for me it's a zero for you maybe it's something else so if, as you can see now the disk zero is now selected and now we type in list part and press on enter. And then here we'll see all of your all of your partitions. Here you will see your recovery partition. And as you can see how I can tell this is recovery. This the first one is recovery because I have only 500 megabytes. So that's way that I know. Or it can say here on the type can say the recovery partition. Now this is the you have to select now your your disk. You have to select now your partition, which is with the, when where your Windows is installed. So how can you know? As you can see, I have two of them, and let's say for example, I don't know which one is it. I'm just gonna go to my computer. And I'm gonna go to my computer and as you can see here, I have 255 gigabytes. So it means that the one with the 255 is the system one. So now that I know that is partition two, because that's the one, the 255. And here I'm gonna type cell part number two for you. Just be careful which one do you choose here because this is very important what you choose. Now we need to type this command, this shrink desired 750 and minimum 750. Now you can go a little bit lower if you want, but I just, I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger so it can be safer. So now we need to go again to our, this partition to partition one with the recovery. Now here we're gonna go sell part again. And here I'm gonna type one. Make sure you type the correct one as on the beginning, you will see the partition one is the recovery here, as you can see as well, recovery 
partition make sure to type in the recovery partition here press on enter and now make sure it's selected the right partition make sure i selected the right partition and now we need to type this command and make sure this is not the c partition because if it's c you will delete everything from your system including all your files now after you've deleted the part the partition that one we need to type in again list disk and press and enter and here now we need to know if your if your windows is gpt or is mbr so as you can see if here on gpt you have a asterisk star that means that your hdd or ssd is gpt as you can see for me here is mbr so as you can see it's not gpt for you maybe is gpt if you have gpt then you need to type this command and press enter and after that you follow by this command and then again you press and enter i'm gonna do for mbr but i don't have gpt so i'm gonna go with the mbr so this is for the mbr if you have mbr this is the code that you need so i'm gonna press and enter and as you can see is the is success succeeded creating in specified partition so make sure you get that message the last thing this is what you need to type the last one this doesn't matter if you have gpt or mbr you need to type this and we press on enter again and we're gonna wait for it to finish and as you can see now it's finished it's 100 percent completed and now all we need to do is to type an exit and then we press press on enter and after that we just type this command again to confirm and we need to type this command again to enable again the reagent c and now at the end we need to type this command and press on enter so we confirm as you can see windows re status is again enabled so that's pretty much it how you can fix it thank you so much for watching if this helped you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video ask me any questions if you have bye